Hello everybody, it's Cheryl from Cheryl's Organic Food Forest. And today I'm going to harvest some Savoy cabbage. That's these big green cabbages right here. Because I'm going to make chow chow. Now, growing up my grandmother made it and she called it cha cha. Everybody called it chow chow from the south. But it's actually called chow chow. And I'll explain to you every um, thing that goes in it. Okay? Let me harvest these and I'll be right back. So, I have two very large heads of cabbage. And um, I'm going to saute these leaves because they're in excellent shape. The neem oil spray that I make with water and Dawn dish soap keeps the cabbage bugs off of my uh, winter crops. So I'm gonna go ahead on and um, remove some of the leaves that I'm gonna say for sauteing it and I'll come back and let you see how big the heads actually are. There's some tomatoes that harvested today. So here are the two heads of cabbage. Of course, this one is bigger. I can't weigh them because my kitchen scale is broken, but trust me, that's pretty heavy. And this is a nice size one too. And so what I'm going to do to make my chow chow is, I'm gonna chop up very finely the cabbage. I will also chop up some onions, cucumbers, green tomatoes, green tomatoes, green and red sweet peppers, some people call them bell peppers, and I will brine them in pickling salt and water. And I'll put them in a airtight container and keep them out in my garage, unheated garage. Now, the next day, I would drain all of the liquid off and what the pickling salt does with the water, it pulls all of the uh, extra water out of most of the uh, vegetables that I am uh, chopping up and going into the chow chow because you don't want to have a lot of water with your um, a mixture of vinegar and other ingredients I'll tell you about in a second because it'll make it too soft and mushy. So I will rinse it two, three times and then drain those vegetables in the colander and a little at a time I will spin them uh, in my lettuce crisper to remove any excess water. Now, after that is done, I am going to heat up some apple cider vinegar with brown sugar. Um, I'm going to add a little turmeric, a little Dijon mustard, horseradish, celery seed, mustard seed, red pepper flakes. And I may be forgetting something. If I do charge it to my head and not my heart, I will list the recipe in the description box of the video. So after I cook that, I will, that mixture and dissolve all the ingredients, I am going to add all of my drained vegetables to that mixture and cook it for 10 minutes. And then I will spoon them up into my sanitized hot jars. And then I'll process it uh, by uh, water bath canning for about 15, 20 minutes. Okay, so I'll get back to you and show you the next step. I'm also going to add a little curry powder. And like I said, if I remember something else, I will be sure to list it. So this is part one of this uh, procedure of making chow chow and harvesting the Savoy cabbage. And tomorrow I will make part two. Thanks for watching. Bye now.